Welcome to our V Bulletin training video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a database backup manually via Windows and an SSH client called PuTTY. Some things before we get fully started here. The following tutorial requires that your web hosting account allow you to connect via SSH. You're also going to need a username and password provided to you by your web host to access SSH via our SSH client. Not all web hosts and servers will provide SSH. Please contact your web host for more information on if SSH is available to you. Also, please note that there may be laws in your country regarding using encrypted connections. We aren't able to provide you advice on these issues. So first, we're going to download a copy of the SSH client PuTTY. If we type in PuTTY into Google, we'll click the first link and scroll down and find putty.exe. After downloading it, we'll extract it and download it to our FTP website by dragging it into our client server. It's as simple as that. Next, we're going to run the program. If you get a prompt about the something unknown, as long as you've downloaded it from the official page, you should be good and press continue. Since we've got the program opened, and I'm sure you're already a little bit lost, we're going to go into the host name box and enter the address of our server. Because we want SSH and our web host works on the standard port, we don't have to change anything else. We can now click open. The system will prompt us to log in, enter your username, and hit enter. Next, it will prompt us for our password. If you have it in your clipboard, you can click right and paste it into the putty window. Otherwise, you'll need to type it in manually. Now that we're logged in, half the battle is over. We're going to need a little bit more information to finish. You'll need your MySQL username, MySQL username password, and MySQL database name. You should have this information available to you. If you don't, you can find it in your forms folder under core slash includes config.php file. Assuming you have that information ready, we're good to run the command, which follows as my SQL dump space dash dash opt space dash uppercase Q dash U your username space dash lowercase p space your database name space greater than sign space my backup dot sql we recommend that you use a date in your backup file like my backup 2013 1.31 sql You leave the space right after the P blank, as when we hit enter, the MySQL server will prompt us to enter our password. Now when we go back into 